the channel. In today's video, we'll be pinning the track down. This is probably one of the most exciting parts of having a model railway. Because it's probably the cheapest part as well. Because all you need to pin it down is the pins. Or if you want, your choice to glue it down. So already, I have pinned my middle track down with my Class 66 on. But it, at the moment, my middle track is all pinned down. And most importantly, it is all working. Every time you want to put a pin in, you want to check that it is working. I think I've got one more pin to put in on the far set of points. So I'll just bring my loco over there. And the last pin for the middle line is, yeah, that straightened up. Pop the pin in. Tap it down. There you go. That is now tapped down. Just a tiny bit more, because all that will be going over there is the end of a loco. But I just wanted to put it down, and I just overrun my class 66. Luckily, I didn't overrun it at full power, because that wouldn't have been good. But ready, if we bring it back, all working, all perfect. That's all pinned down and working. So we're going to start pinning down the uh, straight closest to me. So put the class 66 on. Probably one of my most reliable locomotives. Just to check it's working. Just to check the line's working before I put any pins in. Yep, the line is working. So you don't have to put pins in on every pin hole there is. That is just a waste. Because I have limited number of pins and there's loads more holes on this railway. But I do have quite a few pins, but there is a lot of holes on this railway. What you want to do is, I think, you should have a pin every large diesel locomotive length. So, if you can see, here's my Class 66. The pinhole's just at the buffer there. Just at the buffers on the other side. And it was here, so... Gently tap it in. Like that. Right, so we've got that one pinned down, which is one class 66 length. If I check, yep, just there. Right, so now from that point. Right, from that point, locate the nearest pinhole with a pin. And the nearest pinhole is this one right on the buffer again. So tap this one in. careful not to hit your track if you do hit it one or two times it is all right though if you start going proper banging that is not okay because you will dent the formation of the track and yeah it won't be very good so that's another pin length uh, all still working up there just on the pin get another pin locate the nearest pinhole nearest pinhole is this one straighten up the underlay then 
the nearest pinhole is that one. This is on a set of points and just tap this one in. Right, it's tapped in. And for the last pin, would help if you switch the points the right way. So for the last pin, just to check, if that is there, the one I need is the end one. Right, and then now... Pin it down. Right, it's two lines done, ready for balance, ballasting in the next video. But there is one more line, well there's actually one there, and then the one in the engine shed, which also runs onto that one. So, if I move my class 66 onto this line, this is my most unlike line of all, because purely and simply because it's not got wires soldered straight to the track like these two right here it has one of those dodgy brand new hornby connector things that you get in like the highland rambler set something it's got one of those i don't like those personal though so you've got opinions you can think whatever of them but i personally don't like them Get it on the track. Get it straight. Right, there we go. I have a totally different Colt controller from this. And it would help if I turn this controller on just to check. Everything is working and just be careful that I don't hit my British Airways A380 1 to 250 scale model. Right, here we go. Works into the engine shed, works. Pull it back. It's too big to switch the points. Right, I didn't think about that. So what I want to do is pull, put it on that part, switch the points, go forward, not backwards. And just to show you it runs all the way down. You can see that better than me at the moment. I have derailed myself by accident for going too fast on a five mile an hour siding zone. I honestly hate these new Hornby controllers because they're always cutting out all the time. What you have to do when you cut out is you've got to unplug them. And that's what I'm so that's why I like the better old H&M controllers. Look, these are, what, six times older than me and I'm ten. So it's basically 60 year old, 58, 60 year old. Right. Hopefully now it works. Turn it off. Right, it does work, so I've not totally destroyed the loco. And now, just to prove to you that it can go under here and through here, I shall do that if I get it facing the right way. Controller 
then on this line. I'm just controller then, so switching lines, switching control. Right, so to prove to you all of that does work. So now all I need to do is pin it down. Like I say, I like having the pins a large diesel locomotive away from each other. So to start it off, I'll get the end one on here. This is in the engine shed, this part. So if I put my diesel locomotive on the end of the track, the next pinhole located is that one there. Right, put one there. Drive forward. Lift it up. Straighten the underlay. I have a big crease in the underlay. Right. It was this one. Tap it in. Bring my loco dead on. The nearest pinhole is that one, so get a decent sized pin, they're all the same size, but put it on the wrong track, <laughs> uh, put one there, if I manage not to lose it in the uh, sleepers. Get another one and tap it in on here. There we go. Then I say another uh, large diesel locomotive away, which the closest one now would have been that one there. So. Then the last one being the end, which I didn't have to measure that one out because the end, you've always got to put one at the end, right? So, right now I have messed up all of my unglued down scenery. Six, six there. Um, put all these pins back, have them fall out the hole at the side, very useful. A couple of holes in this bag actually. Right, so that will be the end of this video because I'll put them on this one because the end of it is when I finished pinning it down 
and I have finished pinning it all down. So once I just clean this up, we can now run trains on each line, including. Oh no, no! I've not pinned it all. I've not pinned it all. That's one thing I forgot. I forgot this line. I will do this quickly, probably without speaking, but I probably will speak because I like speaking. I will need one, two, three, four pins. And you are saying, Harry, you have placed that one, and that is not a large diesel locomotive's length away. Yes, I know that because I would like to uh, put one pin in the hole, in the pinhole on the buffer. I've done something. <laughs> right. That one didn't go in straight only because The the hole was broken. So. Mm. My chimney's gonna fall. He is wobbling. The place you might not be able to see this. I'm just gonna tell the camera. One in the very end. I didn't pin that buffer in. I'm going to replace it though with a... Because that buffer was actually broken. The pinhole on the buffer was broken, so that's why I've swapped the buffer. Right, I need two small pins. Two small pins. Selection of pins. One small pin. Two small pins. Three small pins. Just in case you lose one. Just in case you lose two, actually. Uh, just in case you lose three. Uh, I can just put them on. Right. So, put these back. Put it on. You watch, I'm not going to lose any now. I've already pinned that buff down. So. Gently. Pop it in. I'm going to get something to tap these in with to help them whack the buffer and break the buffer. So, a uh, lollipop stick. Hit the lollipop stick away from the buffer. Like that. So I don't damage. Oh, that's worked perfect. Right, and then this one. In. Gentle tap. Oh, I might as well put two in that one. Right. Put that there. Lollipop stick. Perfect. Perfect. 
And then this one, because I've got two spare, I'll put one in here. And I might as well put one in here. And do the lollipop thing. Really good use for lollipop sticks, actually. And then maybe work this one. So you don't hit the buffer and break it like this. Bang. Uh, so, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which is hopefully a bit of painting on the track and maybe a bit of ballasting, depending on what I can get done between school and other things. Free time. By the way, it's dark at the moment. As you can see through my window. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe if you like this type of comment. Comment. Content. Bye.